Hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today to hear all about our overnight rail journeys here with Amtrak Vacations. I want to go ahead and introduce myself. My name is Jackie Malecki. I'll be your presenter today and really excited to talk to you about some of our overnight rail packages that we have. A few other things I'm going to talk about today are what it's like to travel overnight on board Amtrak and on the train itself, especially for those of you who have never traveled on the Amtrak before. I'll talk about running your vacation right from your hometown and how Amtrak is providing a safe environment right now with everything that's going on. But I do wanna start out by showing this map here of the Amtrak route system because a lot of people are always surprised to see the extent that Amtrak travels to and all the options that you have for your next vacation. All the different colored lines, they're all Amtrak, but they're the different routes. So all the routes have their own names there. And Amtrak does connect into Canada too in a couple different places. So then you can combine a US trip with a Canadian one. Uh, the line running through Canada, the blue line at the top, that's via rail. So that's Canada's national train system there. Now we are ready for you when you're ready to go and to travel. Here are a couple of things that Amtrak has done to make traveling right now safe in the days of COVID-19 and with everything that's going on. So a couple of things, they've definitely enhanced their cleaning protocols, both at the train stations and on board the train too. So wiping down all the seat surfaces that people can touch, uh, any of the rooms, things like that, everything is constantly being sanitized. They do require face coverings to be worn throughout the stations and on board the train. If you're sitting in your seat, you want a snack, you're eating, having a drink, you can of course remove your face mask for that. But if you are just sitting in your seat, and especially if you're moving around on the train, you will have to wear a face mask. They've limited the amount of bookings to about 50% capacity. Uh, and that's just to ensure social distancing on the train. This way you don't have to sit next to someone that you don't know, they won't be directly in front of you, behind you. People will be able to safely spread out on the train. They have a great air filtration system that allows fresh air on board. So every four to five minutes, it's all new fresh air there. There's contact free travel. So when you book with us, we'll issue you an e-ticket. So if you have a smartphone, you can actually just show it to the train conductor as he's walking by. He'll just scan it, won't even touch your phone, anything like that, and then keep going. And there's also private rooms on the train. So this way you can have your own space Keep away from everyone else. You can close your door in there. And if you are in your room with your door closed, you can remove your face mask. So especially if you're doing an overnight on the train or you're on the train for an extended period of time, it will be really nice to be able to take your mask off but still be safe. Uh, and everyone on the train will still be safe from that. But gives you a little bit of relief because we know it can be a little bit of a pain to wear masks for an extended period of time. So highly recommend upgrading to those private rooms for that reason. Now, if anyone does have any additional questions on what Amtrak is doing, please feel free to give us a call and we can go into a little bit more detail. But I wanna talk about the fun part of today's presentation and that's different packages that we have, different options that you have and different cities that you can visit. This here is our Grand Rail Experience. It's one of our top rail experience pa is packages that will take you all across the US so you can experience so many wonderful places and all different landscapes along your journey. It starts off in Chicago. It's actually a round trip right from there. And this Grand Rail experience, it's customized for those that want to get a full cross-country Amtrak experience. So it connects Amtrak's top train routes. It'll go across the top of the country, over to the Pacific coast, and then heads down there. It'll do Amtrak Southern Route, which is known as a Sunset Limited. It goes up through our nation's capital and then back to Chicago. Now I'll take a second to explain this map here that you're looking at, because you will see it throughout today's presentation and a lot if you've looked on our website. Whenever you see the red arrow with the two, or in this case, sometimes a one, 
that's how many nights you're spending on the train. So from Chicago to Seattle, that's two nights on board the train there. And then in Seattle, you have two nights at your hotel before continuing for an overnight down to Los Angeles there. So let's break this one down a little bit more. You'll start off on the Empire Builder route, traveling west from Chicago over to Seattle. You'll pass by the famous Glacier National Park in Montana. You also pass through the beautiful Cascades. In Seattle, you'll have two nights at your hotel there, and you'll be able to enjoy a hop-on, hop-off sightseeing tour of the city. So with that, you can really take in all the highlights and the best of Seattle from Pioneer Square, which is Seattle's first neighborhood. You can take it over to the waterfront and so much more. Definitely make time to visit Cary Park on the Queen Anne Hill for this skyline view that you see in the picture right here. It's a small park, but definitely one of my favorite places to visit purely for the epic views that it has. And after exploring Seattle, you're gonna head south on the Coast Starlight route. And on that one, you're gonna travel through the Pacific Northwest, through California, the Central Coast, down into Southern California, and that's where you really hug the Pacific Ocean. This is an overnight on the train, so you can relax in your own private bedroom. So here you can see one of the bedrooms, very comfortable, spacious by day. There's a table that pulls up right between where they're sitting there. So if they wanna play some games, uh, anything like that, they can certainly do that there. And then at night, it's actually converted into bunk bed. So you can have a good night's sleep. And a little bit later in this presentation, I'll talk more about the different accommodations and show you what the daytime, nighttime setup is like. But you'll take that train down to Los Angeles and in LA, you have time to explore it all. You can do some shopping on Rodeo Drive, visit Hollywood Boulevard in the Walk of Fame with the stars in the Hollywood stars names all along the sidewalk there. You can see the Hollywood sign, visit the famous beaches like Santa Monica and Venice Beach and so much more. And the hop on hop off tour that we include can take you to all of these places. Now, for those of you who have not done hop on hop off tours before, or you're like, what is a hop on hop off? So essentially what a hop on hop off tour is, is it's a series of tour buses that run through the city on a specific route and they make multiple stops at all the major attractions and hot spots of a city. It's a guided tour. So you're learning about you know, the places that you're stopping at, the history of the area, the culture, everything like that. But you have the ability to get on and off the different stops as you like. So you don't have to get off at every stop. Let's say it goes down to the beaches and it stops at Venice Beach, but you don't want to get off there. Maybe you really want to go to Santa Monica Beach because you want to walk, walk along the pier there. You can stay on the bus. It'll continue on get off at Santa Monica, walk the pier. And then a little bit later, there's gonna be another bus that comes through and you can hop on a different one and then continue doing your tour through the city. So we love using these because it takes you to all the top places of a city. It already maps out the best route to see everything and you don't have to worry about public transportation. So it gives you a lot of flexibility to explore kind of at your own pace. So after exploring Los Angeles, you're gonna travel between California and Louisiana along our southernmost route. That's the Sunset Limited. You can settle back in your room here, relax, maybe have a glass of wine. You're on vacation and let's be real, you have waited long enough to take this trip. So enjoy it. And you can watch the California mountains turn into the Southwestern deserts. You're very far south, so kind of along the Mexican border at parts of it. You'll travel through Bayou Country as you get closer and you get into Louisiana there. And you'll take that right to New Orleans. Taking the train, it's special because it really lets you spend some good quality time with your loved ones and your travel buddies. I'm sure we've all been there before when you're flying. Usually the first thing you do on the plane is everyone kind of puts their headset on and either you're watching your own 
you know, iPad and movies there you downloaded, or they all have the TVs now, so you're kind of just focused on that. But when you're on the train, it's very different. You're actually talking with your travel companion, you know, playing games with them and just enjoying each other's company. That's what I love about train travel. Then when you get to New Orleans, so much to explore there. Uh, you can visit Jackson Square. It's a historic park in the French Quarter of New Orleans. It was declared a National Historic Landmark in 1960 for its central role in the city's history. And it's also the site where in 1803, Louisiana was made United States territory pursuant to the Louisiana Purchase. So on the guided tour that we include for you, you'll learn all about New Orleans history, the historic landmarks, and more. And definitely in New Orleans, you have to check out some of the jazz clubs there. It's, of course, famous for its jazz scene, music, and its cuisine, especially the Creole cuisine. And then after exploring New Orleans, you'll head on the Crescent Route. You'll glide past cotton and tobacco fields. You'll roll into charming towns like Charlottesville and Greenville all along the way. And you'll definitely know you're getting close to DC when you catch a glimpse of the Washington Monument and the views of it just keep getting better as you get closer to the city. In DC, we include that hop on hop off sightseeing tour. So that's gonna take you to all the famous monuments and memorials like Jefferson Memorial, Washington Monument, Lincoln Memorial. It'll take you all around the National Mall there. And it's amazing seeing all these monuments by day, but it's even more incredible seeing the city and the monuments all lit up at night. So we do include the Monuments by Moonlight Tour, which is a guided tour that will take you to see all of them. One picture I want to call out here is actually the one on the bottom left. That's right inside the beautiful Union Station in DC. So that's actually right where the train will take you and where Amtrak goes. So when you step off the train into the station, this is what you see. And then when you go outside, your hotel is just across the street, a short walk away or a short cab ride, uh, depending where you choose to stay, as we definitely have lots of great options for you. And then from there, you're gonna take the Capital Limited route from DC back to Chicago. You'll travel through the Potomac Valley, past historic Harper's Ferry, the Allegheny Mountains. So all of these routes are absolutely spectacular, scenic, and unique in their own ways. And that concludes the Grand Rail experience. 14 day absolute bucket list experience. All of our vacations that we have are customizable. So if you really like the Grand Rail experience, but there's a couple things you wanna change about it, no problem at all. We can make it round trip from your hometown. Maybe you live in the LA area or Southern California. You're like, well, I don't wanna start in Chicago. I wanna start here. No problem, we can do that. We can make it round trip from Los Angeles or your local Amtrak station instead. We can add on any destinations or add extra nights. Maybe you've never been to Chicago, so you wanna spend some time there. Or as you're traveling down the Pacific coast, you want to stop in San Francisco for a couple nights. We'll do that for you. You can upgrade to the private sleeping accommodations. All of our pricing is based on coach, but I highly recommend upgrading to the sleepers so you can get your own private room, your own bed there. There's different types, which we'll talk about in a little bit. You can choose the hotels that you wanna stay at. We have three, four, and five star hotels that we work with in all of our destinations. We work with a lot of the major chains, but we also have some great boutique hotels. So depending on your price point, maybe a specific location in a city that you're looking to stay, we can always find the perfect match for you. Or maybe you're not sure, we can certainly give you the best suggestions for what you're looking for. And we can also add additional sightseeing tours to any of these destinations. For example, in Seattle, Maybe you wanna visit Olympic National Park, get outside of the city a little bit. We can add that on for you. We can add transfers. I mentioned you can do this round trip right from your hometown, 
but you also have the option to fly to the starting city if you want. So maybe you're in the Colorado area and you want to fly to Chicago to start your journey. We can add a transfer from the airport right to the train station to begin this trip. So lots of different things that we can do for you. We want to make sure that we put together the perfect vacation specific for your travel needs. So I want to talk about a few other trips that we have too. If you want to experience the West, some great scenic routes, but maybe you have a little less time for the vacation, you can't do our full Grand Rail experience, here's another great option. It starts out with a two-night journey on the Southwest Chief Train, going through the Midwest Plains, the wide open spaces, through the mountains, Red Rock Canyons, as you make your way to Los Angeles. You're going to arrive in Los Angeles, and for this one here, you're actually going to change trains, and then you're going to board the Coast Starlight. That passes through Santa Barbara, travels right along the coastline. You can even see the surfers in the water on a nice day. Travels through the rolling hills of the Central Coast as it makes its way to San Francisco. And then in San Francisco, we have you spending a few nights there, so you can do a hop on, hop off tour, explore Golden Gate Park, definitely hop off at Fisherman's Wharf because this is also where you can board your included boat cruise that'll take you on San Francisco Bay. You'll get a unique viewpoint of the Golden Gate Bridge because it'll actually take you under it. So get some great pictures of that. And then on the way back to the docks, it'll actually go around Alcatraz first and then gives you an amazing skyline view of San Francisco. We also include a tour that will take you outside of the city a bit. So you're gonna cross over the Golden Gate Bridge and you're gonna go to Muir Woods. You have free time to explore, take a hike. I say hike, it's a very leisurely walk, some nice trails throughout there. But you can explore the towering redwoods. And then after that, you'll go out to Sausalito, which is a charming coastal town. It's on the opposite side of the bay from San Francisco there, but lots of local shops and restaurants, you know, a lot of homemade goods. So great place for some souvenir shopping too. And then you'll head back into the city, spend the night, a little more time to explore San Francisco before boarding the Coast Starlight once more. And this time you're gonna take it all the way to Seattle, which is its last stop. There you have that hop on, hop off tour. I mentioned we absolutely love using these tours because it really is just the best way to experience a new city. I've done them myself personally and multiple destinations that I'm new to. It really gives you a great overview of the entire city and then the next day you can go back to some of those spots you know where you want to explore a little bit further but in seattle definitely check out pike place market which you can see pictured right here you can go down to the waterfront or visit the space needle and then from there you'll travel on the empire builder back to chicago and remember, we can make this round trip from your local Amtrak station. So even if you're not in Chicago, anywhere you're traveling from, just let us know. You'll see a lot of our packages are round trip from the Chicago area or start there. And that's just because Chicago is really the main hub for all the Amtrak long distance trains. So really easy for people to get to Chicago. When taking the train, you have the ability to take them right to some of the US national parks. So you can step off the train right into the open spaces. So much room for social distancing in the national parks there. So get ready for a scenic trip of a lifetime from the City of Angels to the majestic Grand Canyon on our rails to the Grand Canyon here. With this one, you're gonna board Amtrak in Los Angeles. And then you'll enjoy some picturesque scenery of the great American Southwest as you venture over to Arizona. Your next stop is the magnificent Grand Canyon, one of the seven natural wonders of the world. For this trip, you're gonna take the Southwest Chief. 
So this is the route, it actually travels from LA all the way to Chicago, but you're gonna hop off early in Flagstaff in order to visit the Grand Canyon. So it departs LA in the early evening, so you can relax on board for a little bit before settling in for the night. You can let the train gently rock you to sleep, and then the next morning, you arrive at your destination. Once you get off the train, you're gonna be brought to Williams, Arizona, right to the Grand Canyon Railway Hotel and to the train depot. We include a nice big breakfast for you at the hotel there. You can go outside, watch the Wild West shootout show that they do. It's really fun, great to watch, especially if you're traveling with kids or the family, they will love it, but adults love it too. And after that, you're gonna board the historic Grand Canyon Railway and take that train through the deserts, which will turn to the prairies, prairies turn to the pine as you travel through the Ponderosa Pine Forest. So definitely a view that is ever-changing. And then you come across the view so brilliant, which is the Grand Canyon itself. It's arguably one of the world's most beloved attractions. Grand Canyon National Park is home to a unique combination of geological colors and shapes carved out over millions of years of history. It stretches 277 miles long, a mile deep, and up to 18 miles wide. The Grand Canyon never fails to dazzle its visitors. And you'll be able to spend two nights right at the canyon's edge. There's plenty to do in Grand Canyon National Park. As soon as you get up there, we'll take you on a sightseeing tour to some of the best scenic overlooks. Then the rest of the day, you can relax, just soak in the views, or maybe take a hike around the canyon's rim into the canyon itself. The next day, you have a full free day to again relax, go hiking, or maybe take in the breathtaking aerial views of the canyon on a helicopter tour. If you've always wanted to do a helicopter tour, what better place than over the Grand Canyon? We have a couple different properties you can stay at. Uh, pictured here is the iconic and famous El Tovar. It sits right along the edge of the Grand Canyon. And then after exploring there, you'll take the Grand Canyon Railway back down to Williams, enjoy dinner at the hotel before boarding Amtrak later that evening and taking it back to Los Angeles. Now, to give you an idea of pricing to upgrade to the sleepers, for the roomette, it's about $75 more per person. So I'll give you your own private room, your own bed there. And for the bedroom, it's $215 per person. Biggest difference is the bedroom is a little bit larger, has its own private bathroom and shower right in there. Now, the pricing for the upgrades to these private rooms, it does widely range pending the route that you're looking at. So definitely give us a call for accurate pricing for some of the other packages too, but I just kind of want to give you a ballpark and an idea uh, for those upgrades. One of our most popular destinations that we have is Glacier National Park. And this here is one of the top packages taking you there. It's the Glacier National Park in Seattle from Chicago. This seven day trip on board Amtrak from Chicago to Glacier National Park, then over to Seattle is one that you definitely don't wanna miss. Your tour kicks off with a scenic train ride on the Empire Builder to the spectacular Glacier National Park in Big Sky Country, Montana. You can savor its beauty and fresh mountain air while touring some of the most stunning peaks and valleys. And then from there, it's on to Seattle, the gleaming Emerald City. So from Chicago, you're gonna hop right on the Empire Builder route. Definitely experience the rugged splendor of the American West as you make your way over to Montana. You can just sit back, soak in the views during the day and at night, you can get a comfortable night's sleep in your own bed, in your own room. So you can see here, this is the roomette there. If you're traveling with your family, another couple, friends, anything like that, let us know because we can actually book roomettes right across the hall from each other. So if you want during the day, you can have your doors open, you can chit chat with each other, and then at night you can close them for some privacy there. The great thing too about doing the sleeping accommodations in the private rooms is you actually get all of your meals included for you on the train. 
So the next morning you can wake up and head to the dining car for breakfast, or you can have it delivered right to your room. In this case, you'll also have lunch served on the train before later on the afternoon, kind of early evening, arriving to Glacier National Park. There's no easier way to get to Glacier than by train. And I say that because where the train stops, you get off and it's just 208 steps to the front lobby of the Glacier Park Lodge. You can literally walk right to the property there. If you have a lot of luggage, don't worry, they do send shuttles down to help you with that, or you can take the shuttle to the property. Uh, but it really is a very easy, nice walk right to the lodge there. And it's the easiest way because there's no major airport that's servicing Glacier National Park. So it's tricky to fly into, and it's in Northern Montana. It's a very remote location. So it's a far drive from any major city. So with the train, you can just hop on board, sit back, relax, enjoy all the landscapes passing you by, and it'll bring you right to your destination. Then you can settle into your hotel for a two night stay. The next day, enjoy a big sky circle tour of Glacier National Park. That's the most inclusive tour of the park. It's a full day, does a full loop of Glacier. You travel along the famous Going to the Sun Road that actually cuts all the way through Glacier. And that'll bring you to a lot of the various lakes, including Lake McDonald, the largest lake in the park. It'll take you along Logan Pass, which is the side of the Continental Divide. You can go to Goat Lake for some wildlife viewing. So it makes lots of other stops along the way. Definitely a lot of photo opportunities to be had. And then the following day, you'll have a boat cruise on Two Medicine Valley on the lake there. So we'll actually take you right from the hotel, bring you out to the lake. It's a narrated cruise. You can learn about the history of the area, the landscapes there, the wildlife. And then later on that evening is when you're gonna board the Empire Builder again and take that heading west to Seattle. You'll arrive in Seattle in kind of the late morning, early afternoon there, and you'll be able to enjoy a guided tour of Seattle, which will take you out to Lake Union, where the houseboats are, it'll bring you to the waterfront, and so much more. You do have a free time to explore at your leisure too. So highly recommend going up to the top of the Space Needle for the best views of downtown, the waterfront, Elliott Bay, so much to be seen from there. And that is our Glacier National Park in Seattle from Chicago. Again, we can do this from any of the train stations. There's 500 plus Amtrak stations. Just let us know where you're coming from and we can put this package together for you. Glacier is seasonal. It's only open from June to early September. So this is definitely a perfect summer vacation trip there. Now for those looking for some mountain scenery and some adventure, but mixed with a little relaxation, here's the perfect one. Starts off in Denver. This is our Colorado Rockies adventure. Uh, starts in Denver, but we'll add the train from your local Amtrak station, bringing you right there. If you're coming from East or West Coast, it'll be an overnight experience and definitely one you'll never forget. And then from Denver, you'll take the train to Glenwood Springs. But first up, you have free time to explore Denver, a downtown area uh, after you arrive. The next day, we're going to take you on a full day trip up to Rocky Mountain National Park. There you can enjoy the serene landscapes of the mountains, lakes, and the rivers. On that drive too, as you depart Denver, you're gonna travel through the Front Range Mountains. You'll also travel by the town of Boulder and see the famous Flatirons Rock Formation. Then from Denver, you're going to travel on the California Zephyr for its most scenic stretch. And that's because that's the part that really winds through the Rocky Mountains, goes slow around them, then cuts through them and some of the tunnels there. And that'll take you right to Glenwood Springs. 
in Glenwood Springs, you can take a tram ride up to the top of one of the mountains there. And there's some caves and tunnels. So we actually take you on a guided tour through there. And then the next day, your final day of your vacation there, you can wrap it up with a relaxing soak at the Iron Mountain Hot Spring. So definitely a perfect way to end your vacation. And that is our Colorado Rockies adventure. Let us know where you live, where you're traveling from, and we can add that train on for you. Now, the last package I wanna talk about today is our ultimate San Francisco and Yosemite getaway. But this year, you can take the train right to San Francisco, enjoy a few nights exploring the city, and then you can head out on the water with a bay cruise, going under the Golden Gate Bridge, around Alcatraz. Then we're gonna take you on a tour from San Francisco to Yosemite National Park. Your guide will take you to some of the best overlooks of Yosemite, including Tunnel View, which you can actually see right here. You have free time to explore the park on your own. And then that afternoon, you're going to be dropped off at your hotel in Yosemite there. Then the next day, you have a full free day to explore the park as you wish. So you can go back to any of the viewpoints maybe you saw in the tour if you want to take some more pictures there. Or you can do a great hike. There's so many different trails all throughout Yosemite. So lots of flexibility for what you want to do on that free day. Maybe you just wanna relax, have a picnic lunch and just admire the beauty of Yosemite. Totally up to you. And then the following day in the afternoon, you'll be transferred back to San Francisco. And from there you can catch the train back home. So that's just a few of the packages that we have, just to give you an idea of some of the places you can visit and where some of the overnight trains come into place. Cause that's where you get some of the most scenic landscapes is on those long distance trains really traveling across the country. So now I want to talk a little bit about the Amtrak and train experience itself and the different accommodations. There's coach accommodations. It's not like coach and the airlines at all. No one's stuck there in the middle seat. It's two and two, nice and spacious, a lot more leg room, uh, especially right now with COVID and social distancing, you actually would not see three people in a row like this. You would not be seated next to someone else. So they are staggering people throughout the train. You can see right above their heads, that's where carry-on bags can go. And then under their seat is room for, you know, backpacks, anything like that. There is a snack car, so you're not confined to your seat the whole time. You can get up, walk around the train, grab a snack, drink, anything like that. When doing the overnights on the train, I do highly recommend upgrading to the private sleeping accommodations. That's where you really get the full Amtrak experience. There's also some great perks with upgrading, such as priority boarding and separate boarding. So if you have one of the sleepers in all the major train stations, they actually have the metropolitan lounges and it's another place you can go kind of hang out, relax as you're waiting for your train. And then they'll actually take you right from that lounge to your train. So they'll help you with that process. And you get your own private room. So of course, a privacy door. If that's closed, you can take off your mask and you don't have to worry about anything. You can really just enjoy the trip. There is a dedicated car attendant. Uh, they do provide all the toiletries, bottled water, they'll do coffee in the morning. They're also the ones that will convert your room from the daytime setup to nighttime and then nighttime back to daytime. There's two main types of sleepers. There's the Romette. This one you can see here, it's two seats that face each other. Those two seats fold down at night to be the lower bunk and there's an upper bunk that comes down. There's a table right between the two seats that pulls out. So if you wanna play a game together on there, have a snack, anything like that, you certainly can. Nice big window to take in all those views there. And then at the end of the train car, that's where you'll find the private bathroom and shower. That's exclusively for people with the remet accommodation. So you're not sharing that with everyone on board the train. It's only a few people in your specific train car. 
Here's the nighttime setup where you can see the bunk beds. They have the door open, but of course at night you can close the door. There is a curtain too that you can close so you can get full privacy in there. The other option is the bedroom. You can see here it is a little bit larger, so there's a little more space. The seat where the woman is sitting, that's more of a couch. So you could easily fit two people side by side or she could lay down there during the day if she wanted to. That's the one that folds out to be the lower bunk, so it gets much wider. And you can kind of see it above her head is the upper bunk that gets uh, pulled down. And again, you don't have to figure any of this out. The train car attendant takes care of all that, provides the pillows, blankets, sheets, everything like that. And above the gentleman's head is room for a suitcase or large bag, anything like that. There's also room underneath the seats to store some smaller bags. The biggest difference is the bedroom has its own private bathroom and shower right in that room there. So you don't have to share that with anyone else. You can see the nighttime setup, so a little bit more space to kind of walk around a bit when those beds are down at night. There is an accessible bedroom as well, so if anyone is handicapped and needs that, just give us a call, let us know, we can book this for you. There is a lift, so you can be brought right onto the train and you can actually wheel the chair right into the room here. And with all of these sleeping accommodations in the private rooms, the meals are included. So quite a variety to choose from. Here's kind of a sample menu. So whether you want, you know, beef, chicken, veggies, a pasta, anything like that, lots of different options. So there's always something for everyone. And the meals can actually be delivered right to your room. So your train car attendant will come by with a menu, just let them know what you would like, what time you want it, and they'll bring that right to you. People always ask, you know, how much luggage can I bring? How much fits in, you know, the rooms that we have? You can bring two free carry-on bags and then two checked bags. This is all per person. In my personal experience, I always tell people, check the larger bags that you have, you know, your big suitcase with everything you're gonna want when you get to your hotel and your final destination there. Check all that, don't worry about it. Just bring a small carry-on bag or backpack with you know, toiletries, your PJs, clothes for the next day, any medications, things like that you're gonna want on board because it just gives you a little bit more space in your room. There is places to store carry-on bags, you know, carry-on suitcases would be about the same size as you know, carry-on for an airport there. But if each of you has your own carry-on and you both have a big backpack, it can get a little tight in the rooms there. So that's why I just recommend, you know, maybe you share a carry-on size suitcase and you each have a little backpack purse uh, depending who you're traveling with but that is just my personal suggestion just gives you a little bit more space in your room so check everything you're not going to need on the train so also want to let you know about a few everyday discounts a children who are traveling so if you're looking to do a family vacation kids ages 2 to 12 get a 50 percent discount on the rail portion of the trip Seniors, anyone 65 or over get a 10% discount, and then active military and their families get a 10% discount. I wanna make sure you all are aware of our maximum flexibility offer that we have, because we know that right now it's a time of uncertainty with everything that's happening with COVID-19. The vaccines are out, people are starting to get it. We are all very hopeful that you know, travel for summer will resume, will safely be able to do it. But I know for a lot of people, you still want that peace of mind. What if something changes or whatever your personal situation is? So with this offer here, for any new reservations that are made now through the end of March, you actually have the ability to change your travel dates or cancel your trip up to five days prior to departure. So you can book with us today for travel in June. And if you decide the week before, I just don't feel comfortable, I'd rather wait till August, you know, give it a couple more months, no problem. Give us a call, no questions asked, we'll rebook your trip for August. Or even if you want to push it off a year, you can do that. 
Uh, for those that have already booked with us, if you do have travel coming up and you're not sure what to do, if you want to reschedule, no problem. Give us a call as long as it's five days prior to your departure. We can work with you on that and you can certainly postpone your trip for a time that you'll feel more comfortable traveling. So we want to work with you all to make sure that when you're on vacation, you really can enjoy your time there and not worry about everything. And if you enjoyed today's presentation, I do want to invite you to our upcoming webinars that we have. We have one next week on January 19th talking about the Grand Canyon and Glacier National Park. So if you're interested in visiting either of those parks, would highly recommend that. I talked a little bit about them today, but it'll go into a lot more detail on those two. And the following week, we'll be talking about top round trip rail vacations. So if you don't want to fly at all, you want to do a round trip right from your local Amtrak station, that's definitely a great one for you. Now, before I open it up to questions, I see a few came in during the presentation, uh, but I do have one that I'd like to ask all of you, and that's what destination are you interested in and when? When are you looking to travel? So you can actually just put it right into your questions box. Would love to hear you know, where you're thinking of going and when, whether it's for the summer or if you're waiting you know, till next year to go. So let's see, we have Jim who's looking at Glacier in the fall. So Jim Glacier, just remember it is seasonal. So if you're thinking early fall, September, that is perfect. But keep in mind the park does close uh, later than that. We have Jill, who's looking at Boston in August. I'm actually based in the Boston area, so absolutely phenomenal city. I love Boston. Highly, highly recommend visiting. Let's see, we have Bill, who's looking full cross country. So Central California, all the way to Miami in January 2022. So looking next year to do that. That is definitely going to be an epic trip. So many different places to stop along the way if you want, or you don't have to if you just want to do it straight through. We have Paula, who's looking to do our Grand Rail Experience package in June. Uh, so definitely, yeah, that's a great one. You're going to see so much of the country. We have Nicholas looking at Colorado Rockies Adventure. So lots of different ones. Thank you, everyone, for sharing. I'm not going to go through everyone's responses just because. We actually have a few hundred people that are joining us today. So very thankful for all of you taking the time. Um, right now, I do want to open it up to questions. And I will start out by saying I apologize if I don't get to your question. Again, there's a lot of you on here today. I know a handful have come in already, uh, but if anyone does have any additional ones, please feel free to put it into the chat. I will try my best to get to as many as I can, but for those that I don't, please give us a call and we'll be happy to answer any questions you have. We have a question from Kim. What are accommodation levels for Seattle to San Francisco? Are round trip tickets more efficient on price? So for the accommodation levels, we have everything from three, four to five star uh, in Seattle and San Francisco. So whether you're looking at maybe, you know, a Holiday Inn type level, a Marriott Sheridan or a Fairmont, or if you're looking for kind of a boutique property, we have all those options for you in those destinations. And as far as round trip tickets more efficient, it's really priced out by the train segment. So doing it round trip doesn't necessarily mean each segment will then be cheaper. We have a question from Judy. Any overnight trips where I don't have to change trains? Yes, there's a lot of trips where you don't have to change trains. So depends where you want to go. Uh, if you're going, you know, Chicago to Glacier, that is just one train. That's an overnight. You don't have to switch. Or if you want to do a little bit longer, you could do Chicago all the way to Seattle. Do two nights on the train without ever changing. Spend a couple nights in Seattle and then maybe head back to Chicago from there. Uh, lots of different options. So give us a call if you don't want to change trains at all. No problem. We can give you some great suggestions. Question from Richard. 
are all transfers included with this trip? They are not. So we don't usually include the transfers from the train stations to the hotels. And that's because in a lot of cases, the hotels that we have are, you know, either right across the street or a short walk, short cab ride to get to. Uh, so we don't include the transfers for that. If you are flying in to start, you need a transfer from an airport to your hotel, anything like that, we can certainly add that in, but typically it's not included. In a few cases, depending you know, where you're going, if you're visiting you know, the Grand Canyon, you know, we include transfers for there. If you're going to Yellowstone National Park, we can transfer you up to, you know, West Yellowstone there. So it kind of depends on the package a little bit, but I would say overall as a guide, no, they are not included. And the other question from Richard is, can you use more than one discount or promotion on a trip? So of the ones that I showed, the everyday discounts, uh, if you're, you know, a senior and military, anything like that, those cannot be combined, but you can use one of those in combination with some of the promotions on our website. Sometimes we'll have, you know, a flash sales or we'll have promotions on a specific destination, you know, a savings on trips to Glacier National Park, for example, or something like that. Those two can be combined. Question from Kathy, do the rooms have outlets for CPAPs? Yes, the rooms do have an outlet in them. Question from Tim, if available, can I upgrade from a roomette to a bedroom when boarding the train? Uh, if they do have one available, you may be able to upgrade to it. Although I will advise as the train sells out and it gets closer to the departure, the prices they do increase. So I would highly recommend booking if you want the bedroom doing that in advance because that's how you're going to get the best pricing for it. Question from Robert, how far in advance can we schedule a trip? We'd like to do a real trip in 2022. So you can book that now. All of our packages are available two years out. So we do have uh, everything for 2022 available. Question from Jim, are there any open dates for Glacier Park Tour for 2021? Yes, we do have some availability still for Glacier National Park at the hotel there. I know some of the dates are sold out uh, because you're trying to get space on the train for those sleepers and space at the hotels there. Both are extremely popular, but give us a call. Let us know what month you're looking to travel. and um, We can work around that and try to find a date that there is availability for Glacier. Question from Jill, a solo traveler rates. Yes, we do have rates for solo travelers. Again, give us a call. The pricing I showed today is all based, it's per person based on double occupancy. But for solo travelers, we can go ahead and price it out, give you an accurate price there. Question from Jamie, do the prices include your hotel rooms and does the price include all the hop on hop off buses? Yes. The pricing includes the hotel rooms, the train, all the sightseeing tours that I mentioned, uh, all that is included. Question from Beverly. On the Grand Canyon train, does it stop for scenic camera shoots? It doesn't really stop on the way up, you know, for scenic shoots, anything like that. You can definitely kind of take pictures, videos as you're going along. On the way back, it actually does make a stop, but they do kind of a little train robbery. So it'll stop for that. You can see the cowboys and their horses riding up to it. Um, it'll stop there. But other than that, the train is usually continuous going through. But you can definitely take pictures as you're going. Question from Kathleen, will masks be mandatory on the tours? Yes, for most of the tours, almost all of them, masks will be mandatory to be worn. If you have specific questions in regards to other 
things about the tour that you're going through a lot have limited capacity on you know the vehicles that they're using you know capacity for some of the attractions uh, feel free to give us a call we can go through that but Overall, all the tour partners that I've spoken to, they are requiring masks to be worn. And it's really by the mandate of, you know, the states, the cities, a lot of them have put in to place requirements for that. Question from Paula, is there Wi-Fi on board? So some of the trains will have Wi-Fi on board and that's, you know, the Northeast Corridor, for example, that's the train running Boston, New York, DC, that one has Wi-Fi because it's running through a lot of populated areas. For most of the long distance trains, that's when you're going from, you know, Chicago, kind of the Midwest to the West Coast, if you're doing Chicago to Seattle, or Chicago to San Francisco, those trains do not have Wi-Fi on board. And the reason being, it's going through some really remote areas. So it just doesn't, get the signal, especially as it's winding through some of the mountains, cutting through some of the tunnels there. Uh, it's not going to get Wi-Fi, but honestly, it's really nice to be able to disconnect from it. I did the train from Chicago to Glacier, Glacier to Seattle uh, two years ago, and it was phenomenal. It was great to actually be able to completely disconnect and kind of tell work, well, I don't have Wi-Fi. I can't check my emails, um, you know, to really just enjoy the train, your time on board, to be able to chat with others, you know, not worry about, let me watch my Netflix, play games with the ones that you're on. So it's just a whole different experience, but that's what really makes it special. Question from Nicholas. I'm in North Carolina. My girlfriend's in Colorado. How would we do a Rockies adventure? So yeah, you can still do that. If a couple different options, um, you could fly to Denver to start the trip, maybe meet her there, and then we can book you together on the package. Or if you're looking to do the train from uh, North Carolina to Colorado, we can set it up so the train is for you from you know North Carolina to Colorado and then in the same reservation we can have both of you doing the Colorado Rockies adventure so we can kind of play around with it a little bit to have both of you meet up if she's not in the Denver area and maybe it's another part of Colorado and she needs the train to get there to start we can give each of you your own separate train and then combine the rest of the reservation together so that's not a problem at all. We've done that multiple times for families. We've seen it kind of one starts the trip and as they're traveling cross country, it seems like they keep picking up another kid or grandkid. Um, so it's always really fun. We have a question from Pamela. Can I use my guest rewards points uh, to offset the cost? So the guest rewards points with Amtrak cannot be redeemed for an Amtrak vacations package. Uh, but if you are booking with us, you can earn guest rewards points on the Amtrak rail portion of your trip. So it looks like we have time for maybe one more question here. I do apologize. I know so many have come in, um, but unfortunately we are almost out of time. So the last question, is from, let's see, uh, Beverly. If I want to travel in a group of say six people, is there an area where all six could be in the same room? I'm thinking girlfriend trip. So that sounds awesome. It's always fun to travel in a bigger group. Uh, for that, on the train, you know, all six of you, there's no room that would accommodate that. Each room is only for two people, but let us know because we can book the room that's across the hall from each other and do the other one right next door. So you're kind of in the same area. Depending on when you're looking to travel, I don't know if you're thinking later this summer or planning ahead for next year, um, there is the snack car and there's an observation car that should be, you know, once things start to get better, uh, that's another place where you can hang out and everyone will be able to be together there. So kind of another place if you want to get out of your room, uh, you can certainly do that. And as far as the hotels, we could do maybe adjoining rooms. So book two rooms for you all uh, and see if we can get adjoining rooms at the different hotels. So let us know for that. I would definitely recommend booking early. 
this way we can try to grab those rooms that are all next to each other there. So with that, I want to say thank you so much everyone for taking the time joining me today. Hope you all learned a lot about what it's like to travel on Amtrak. Have a wonderful day.